Daniel, thank you, thank you. time. Uh, ultimately, not to be out of the cup, but just give us initially your uh, your overall assessment of tonight's performance. Well, in general, it's a fact after this game, we won't win the Carabao Cup um, during this season, and that's it. So, um, not more, not less. I'm disappointed with this. Uh, you know how much I I uh, also value this cup and would have liked to, to win this cup. Um, but we had also to be smart in our team selection uh, today and, and, of course, also to rest some players uh, because we have a few players who missed preseason or came uh, pretty pretty late or, or had to play many minutes. So that had to be a bit uh, smart in our team selection today. For that, that we played also yeah, with many players who didn't have many, many minutes uh, in the last week. So I was overall really pleased with our performance. I think we have created so many situations against uh, against a good Liverpool uh, side. Um, yeah, but anyhow, we're not able to uh, convert even the best chances. Yeah? Not to speak about the uh, penalty in the first half was, of course, a key moment. But we had so many other good situations in the first half. In the second half, I think we had Pierre Lesmelou in a situation where he should have scored. We had Timo Puck in a situation where he normally scores. We had uh, Adam Ina in a situation where he should have scored and uh, created many, many chances. But the fact is we didn't convert the situations. And yeah, in, uh, in general, I think... Um, also, our defending behavior in, in our team tactical behavior, uh, I was quite pleased how we interpreted also our, our base formation uh, today. I think we saved our attacks much better, um, controlled the center, had always pressure on the ball in the center, on the wings, controlled also their counters. Yes, but if they have three shots on target, all three shots are in, and Angus Gunn doesn't have a uh, save to make, and they are able uh, to convert their three goals into goal. Yeah, then you lose a game of football if you don't use uh, your many chance, although you had more shots on target than them. And for example, scenes like Pierre Les Malou was not even a shot on target, huh? although he should have should have scored. So um, in general, overall, I got the feeling. So for this team selection, the circumstances, uh, a good performance. Also, the attitude, even after they scored the third goal, we tried everything and created even chance in the last minutes. Um, was not really pleased with our last 10 minutes in the, in the last league game, I have to say. So... Many points I liked about this game, but yeah, definitely the fact that we lost this game is not a fact that I that I like, and also that they were able to convert the situation to three goals, uh, also not overly great. So for that, um, yes, we are still disappointed that we lost this game. Of obviously big moments in games, penalty notably at one nil. Uh, just clear up, Daniel, was there a bit of uh, a debate over who's taking that penalty? Yes, because Christos was uh, was not the first on the uh, on the team sheet, but uh, he was there was a good performance, created also the situation. Then he got too greedy, so a naive mistake of a uh, of a young player, and, and everyone on the pitch uh, got probably the feeling always oh, there was a good performance, and he has a fantastic strike, and he scored also penalties in his career. Okay, if he's that confident, um, yeah, okay, we allow him uh, to take to take this penalty. But if you do this, uh, you have to make sure that you that you score, otherwise you're in trouble. And uh, believe me, so. Yes, when you work with young players, you have to accept that there sometimes are there with unbelievable naive mistakes, if I'm honest. But uh, believe me, after uh, I've spoken with him, one thing is for sure, he will do this mistake uh, never ever in his life again. Um, that's definitely for sure. From that last part of your answer there, you're obviously very unhappy maybe that if he wasn't a designated penalty taker, he, he's taking it. I love Christos Solis. And he will have a great impact impact for us. I think also today he had many, many, many good scenes. And he's an emotional player from Greece anyhow. And, and was then overexcited. And everyone knows what he's, what he's capable of. But discipline and to stick to what we want to do is also, also uh, quite important. Yeah, believe me, I was not overly happy with the scene. And um, yeah, in our conversation, I had made it really crystal clear. Um, and it will be crystal clear, believe me, after our discussion, he will never, ever do such a mistake again. But it's also important that we don't bury him uh, bury him alive. Uh, I was a striker. And to be really honest, yeah, I have, of course, to punish him. But I've also taken penalties, although I was not on the team sheet, because I was so confident I would score and um, tell you what, I even missed a penalty anyhow. But uh, for that, I have to pay, had to pay the, the record fine in my, in my whole career. Uh, because I deserve this, anyhow. If I if I act then uh, by losing the hat a little bit, yes, I'm a bit protected by being young, anyhow, and and have to learn the lesson. But believe me, after I did this, 
I never had this mistake again. And, and for that, yes, I know I work with human beings. Yeah, sometimes there was mistakes. Um, and especially when you work, once you work with, uh, with young players, um, it's not a guarantee that if a different player would have taken the penalty, he would have scored anyhow. And um, even if uh, Christoph would have scored the situation, I would still have punished him after, after the game, believe me, because the outcome is uh, not then important. But of course, it's then even a bit more obvious uh, if he doesn't score. Um, yeah, this is a pretty tough conversation also for this young guy and not an easy conversation that he will have uh, again. So, yeah, it costs us today uh, that we won't win the Carabao Cup or perhaps it costs us that. Perhaps we would have even lost if we would have scored the, the penalty. But the outcome is that it could have cost us uh, perhaps uh, the game uh, tonight. And this is quite costly and you will learn from this. That's definitely, definitely for sure. Um, yeah, but... Also, not not more, and and for that this topic is also from tomorrow on uh, done. And believe me, in the league game, uh, no player will ever ever do this. One on one from me, Daniel. Um, obviously, there was a lot of talk about the shape before the game, and you did try the defensive free result hasn't gone for you. But are you happy with a lot of things you saw with that base formation? And is that clearly now something moving forward you you can see yourself doing again? Well, and our team technical behavior was uh, was quite pleased because again we saved our text much better. We had more control over the center. We had enough player behind the ball when we once we lost the balls. We had always pressure. Um, with our team technical behavior, I was uh, quite uh, quite pleased. But I tell you what, I was even convinced that even in form information that would be the case because we pointed really with a finger into the mistakes that we've done in uh, in the Watford game and. Um, um, yeah, but I have to say, so for that, that we played then also in this constellation with some fringe, fringe players the first time in the setup, I think it was, uh, was um, uh, it worked quite quite well. But yeah, of course, if we still concede goals, there's still a topic that we have to improve. And of course, yeah, the, the, the goals that we have conceded were too cheap. But today it didn't have to do anything with our tactical behavior. It was really like individual behavior in our in uh, our last row. And this is definitely a topic we have to work on. We, we spoke about this topic also after the last game, but it's also not like you press a button and then two days uh, later, you're perfect in, uh, in your behavior, especially not when some players are coming and coming in, you didn't have that many minutes in the uh, in the last weeks. It's more like a process and uh, we have to roll the sleeves up and, and work also like on uh, on these topics and, and also help with the team selection for the, for the next game because this is still a topic uh, we need to improve. But all the other um, tactical movements, I think, uh, were today much better. That's your time, Daniel. Cheers. Thank you, Paddy. Cheers, Paddy. Okay, Tom Williams, please, from the BBC. Hi there, Daniel. Um, is it too simplistic to say it was the same old story for Norwich tonight? Didn't take your chances, but the other team did? Today, I would sum this game up like this, yes. I'm not sure if it's the same old story anyhow. Uh, probably um, all the opponents in the last season would have said that was the same old Sorry, anyhow, Norwich take their chances and we didn't, and so we lost to, to Norwich. But at least for the uh, for the last games, that's definitely definitely for sure. So um, we had also games where we deserved to lose. Them. Yeah, Man City, for example, uh, against Leicester. My gut feeling was we deserved much more in this game. Also, uh, Arsenal was a bit a bit unlucky, um, but tonight is also like uh, definitely definitely a fact. Yeah, they had three shots on target. They scored. We had many more shots on target than them, and even chances like Pierre Melou should have scored in this situation it wasn't even a shot on target anyhow um, at least from the statistic anyhow yesterday it was a fact we didn't use our chances and they used theirs you obviously spoke about mistakes after the last game there were some mistakes again tonight defensively uh, as many or was it the same again different different mistakes yeah when I think about the first goal for example uh, we lost in the three against one situation, the, the situation with the header, my striker didn't move up in order to put, make sure that the uh, offensive player is in offside. And then the other players just watch the scene instead of locking on. So there was a couple of mistakes. The second goal was uh, was uh, also cross where we should defend and OEG is in between my two centre half shouldn't happen. And the third goal was also a row of mistakes where I think six of my players had the chance to win the ball. We're not consequent enough then in, in our last row. Of course, we should have done uh, better. So different mistakes in comparison um, to the to the last game, but definitely also more or less the same topic. So our individual behavior has to be a bit more aware and a bit more spot on. Uh, otherwise, you lose games on this level. And we face today a side Liverpool. Yeah, it's still a top class side. And even after a few changes, yeah, once Gomez comes in, and you know, 
so then much, much, much worse. Or if Keita comes in or if OEG comes in or one of the highly best young talents in, uh, in English football comes in there and you know, like Gordon, uh, they're not much, much worse anyhow because they are also highly motivated to prove their point. And we lost then today against a pretty clinical side against this type of approach. You have to make sure that you play without mistakes. Yeah, certainly we produce some. And for that, one thing is for sure, we won't win the Carabao Cup this season. Do you think your team has the belief to beat teams at this level? Yes, of course we have the belief. So let's be honest. So after the first four fixtures, it was, it was uh, unbelievable, unbelievable tough for us. Yeah, because of course you hope that you grind out perhaps a point against the likes of Man City or Liverpool or Leicester, but you can't really ex expect this anyhow. So the, the result that really has hurt uh, was the game against Watford because at the moment we are three points behind our plan and this this is annoying and this this uh, sucks also that's definitely definitely for sure but of course if you lose in a game the games against Liverpool and Man City and four games in a row it also does something with the self-confidence and uh, also with the belief but it doesn't uh, come back if you just feel sorry for yourself so yeah you have to fight uh, your way into 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 um, um, in order to make sure that you come out of this devil devil's uh, wheel and anyhow a little bit and it's all like not to feel too sorry for yourself, roll your sleeves up on, on the training pitch and you know, also the next games to make sure that we grind out a result where perhaps no one expects really a result in order to be back on back on track. And we have a chance to do this already uh, on the road at Everton, where Everton is, of course, a favorite anyhow. But we know also today we felt it's not we are, we are miles away from, from winning a game against uh, even against the side against, against Liverpool. We have to use our chances. Yes, and to be more clinical in defending in our last row, where we know that we uh, allowed them the three shots on target. Yeah, if if they score out of this, I uh, make sure the next game there's no shots on target. And you know, this is this has to be the attitude. And and um, I I think out of this game, we can take many many more positive than out of the last game. And uh, if I'm really honest, and I'm I'm pretty sure that we'll be competitive uh, at weekend. So not the favorite, and also not perhaps that everyone. Uh, Things okay. This is an easy win for us at, at Everton, but we have the chance right now to win also some some points back because at the moment we are three points behind, uh, behind our plan, and we want to make sure that as, as soon as possible we are back on track. Okay. Cheers, Daniel. Thank you, John. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Finally, Jim. Hi, um, Daniel. I suppose there's a great saying in a sport: uh, winning is a habit, but also losing is a habit as well. How worried are you at the moment that, that that habit is beginning to kick in now? You mentioned about a result. Does a result need to come really around the corner fairly soon? Yes, the only thing is to, to break the circle, to be there with results. So that uh, that was 30 years ago and it's the same also in, uh, in 30 years. So once you are in the top position on the table, uh, sometimes you just even have to watch a ball. The ball goes into the goal. Yes, and uh, if you're in a bad position, you, know, you have to grind even more a good result out but this is what you have to do and and we all know this and um yeah it's it's, uh, it's always the same though in this in this times it's not like to complain too much about the fixture list or unlucky with VAR decisions or uh, and you're unlucky that we didn't uh, that we even missed penalties or whatever no it's more like come on uh, go through this roll the sleeves up fight even a bit more be more concentrated there if the opponent has three shots on target and scores three times. Yeah, make sure next game they have nine shots on target. And this is more like how you break than uh, such a such a such a ro role of uh, of um, of yeah disappointing results. And uh, this is what we have to do. And finally, for me, uh, Daniel, uh, just there, uh, I suppose you came in with a game plan there tonight uh, for Liverpool. And I suppose we'll sort of break it down into certain certain uh, points of the game. Did that really go out the window after four minutes? That sort of game plan in terms of giving Liverpool that lead where you felt that you were always chasing the game after that? Yes, in general, of course, it wasn't helpful when we once we once we were back, but it was also due to yeah, several changes we made in the team selection today. So some players were didn't spend many minutes in the last games on the pitch were today in Wolf. We also changed the base formation. I got the feeling we needed 10 minutes to adapt a little bit to, to each other. And yeah. Liverpool was unable to use during this uh, 10 minutes already more or less their first situation to score. I was pleased with our reaction because we fought, fought, fought our, our way back into the game, created many, many good situations yet. And of course, should have equalized uh, the 
game and then the momentum would have been on our side, but because we on our side, but because we didn't score, then we were not able to win the momentum back in, the, in this game. Um, yes, but in general, so of course we wouldn't have started like this if it would have been a Champions League final today or a final for against relegation, you know. But yeah, today we also needed as just to to rest some players and also. Um, to give some players also a chance uh, today, and if you then have that many changes, and you know, you also have to expect, uh, except that the first ten minutes were not spot on, but of course it wasn't a key that they were able to go and need that soon in the game. Yes. Cheers, Daniel. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, everyone. We'll leave it there. Um, as always, Charlotte will send the recording of both 